Hey there. So just a quick video on the 2000 display for the 3DS XL. Some have IPS, like what I have for my um, Hyrule Edition. And the rest have TN, like what I have for the other 3DS that I have. So, I guess the first thing is, like, what's so good about IPS? Well, there's a few things. One is um, color reproduction. Two is uh, contrast and black levels. And then finally, um, uh, better viewing angles. So, and there are a few ways to check and what I'm going to show you is, is what I believe is the simplest and easiest way to do it and to do it you first need to do uh, one thing is go look at your um, options on the top left corner and then make sure that you have the br screen brightness maxed out as well as the auto brightness and power saving mode turned off right so it doesn't Know, adjust the, the, the screen dynamically on you so once you do that go to your system settings and let's look at the bottom screen first so it's pretty simple really all you have to do is tilt it up or, or sideways and notice that if you have an IPS screen or display the color doesn't really change and the box is still Pretty much noticeable they don't blend with the background right and with the top screen or display um, pay attention to the main box in this in the center and the enabled on the top left and if you tilt it again they are still very much noticeable you don't blend in the background and finally, if you look at the battery indicator here, it's blue, right? And if I tilt it, it stays blue. Now, let's contrast that or compare that to this Galaxy Edition. And I obviously um, make sure full brightness and stuff like that and let's look at the bottom screen right. and if you notice if you tilt it it's not even tilting it that much it's already losing color if you do it sideways again it's pretty much washed out and if you compare it with the other one hold it on the same angle and you tilt it you can see the one on the left that it's washed up right so if you do this you can see on the left it's pretty much all white and it don't matter and if you look at the top screen or display um, again you know keeping an eye on the main box in the center and then the enable in the top left Right. So they're all pretty much the same color once you do that. It's all just grayed out. And more striking is the, uh, the battery indicator here. So if you're looking at that on, it's blue. You tilt it, it's green. Right. So tilt it the other way, it's green. So it shifts color. And let's compare that with the, the IPS. And so you can still see the, the center box just fine. Right? So, yeah. And, you know, if, if you're wondering, is there a pattern? I mean, some say like the older ones, the older new 3DS Excels, that is, 
or non-XL have higher chance of being IPS it's still or some say that um, uh, a special edition like the, the high roll edition like what I have here have a higher chance of being IPS well I have two of them and this one is not IPS right so and uh, actually let's just you know just plain black one too still not IPS it's just at the end and yeah so oh if you're just curious what about 2DS excels well let's do a quick check so if we um, look at the system settings again again you know it just you get washed up right, so actually all through the SXLs have TN display so you don't even need to check so yeah oh lastly if you like playing DS games on your 3DS and you want to experience an IPS display and I've mentioned this before get a DSi XL all the all DSi XLs have IPS screens and you don't even have to worry about it although it, it you know it does have, suffer from uh, inconsistency inconsistency of uh, the color temperature and the calibration as you can see with this right if you look at them together uh, this one's a little bit more greenish right? this is a little bit more neutral I guess well actually who knows what the standard is but what I'm trying to say here is that you know it, they're not consistent and same thing with DS what my other DS have a much warmer top screen so anyways Okay. and yeah so if you have a better idea or way of checking whether or not you have an IPS leave a comment below and yeah it'll be interesting to see what you guys are doing to, to check whether or not it's IPS and TN for me I think this is really simple and easy and quick and you don't need a special game or you don't need to open the browser and look at a web page and look at some color boxes and stuff like that right it's all it's all there and you know if you're buying a 3ds you know from someone and you know you kind of want to do it in the down low and or discreetly and yeah you can just open up system settings and say oh i just want to check out the firmware version and you know, look on this the side saying oh yeah there's no scratches it's, it looks pretty good and you know it's really obvious and that you know it's going to be ips or not right well you can tell them if you know if that's what you're looking for and you know and they might raise your price or whatever but yeah it's up to you but yeah yes just, just just a suggestion anyway that's that's all i have and and yeah so thank you for watching and i'll see you guys later